Belinda Payne, and this is your Royal Fidelity Weekly Market Wrap. The local market ended this week with 28,610 shares crossing the exchange with 17 trades to accumulate to a value of $153,272.16. Nine out of the 20 publicly traded companies experienced activity this week, resulting in four price advancements and two price declines. The lead advancer for the week was Commonwealth Brewery, trading 1,000 shares to close up 4.59% to $11.40 per share. The other advancers were Focal, trading 4,405 shares to close up 1.1% to $3.69 per share. Finco traded 2,625 shares to increase 0.47% to $6.35 per share. And First Caribbean traded 3,250 shares, increasing by 0.33% to $9.13 per share. The lead decliners for the week were Fidelity Bank, trading 2,000 shares to close down 2.17% to $11.25 per share. And Commonwealth Bank traded 8,150 shares to close down 0.97% to $4.09 per share. In local market news this week, AML released its unaudited financials for the quarter ended April 30, 2018. The company reported a net profit of 467,000 compared to 1.8 million in the previous year. The decline in net profit was attributed to the expenses associated with the opening of Solomon's Yamacross store and the close of Carl's Juniors, as well as increases in energy costs and shrink. To view the company's financials, you can visit bisexbahamas.com. In other news, Commonwealth Bank announced the retirement of its president, Ian Jennings, after 34 years, effective July 31, 2018. Mr. Winder will succeed Mr. Jennings as president. Here's your well tip for the week. Here are five specific pieces of financial advice that can have a positive influence on your financial practices. One, most people who overspend their income do so in one of three ways. Too much house, too much car, too much entertainment. Reduce your unnecessary expenses and save the excess. Two, begin your marriage living on just one income. Three, buy your car with cash. Four, if you can't keep a monthly budget, use a spending plan instead. Five, one extra monthly payment per year on your mortgage shortens the length of your loans by years. Following these guidelines can lead to better money management. I'm Belinda Payne and this has been your Royal Fidelity Weekly Market Recap.